Predict if any asymptotes or holes are present in the graph of each rational function. Use a graphing calculator to draw the graph and verify your prediction. In part A, we'll graph y equals x over x squared minus 9. Let's take a moment to learn about rational functions with a numerator degree less than the denominator degree. There is a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0 along the x-axis. We also have vertical asymptotes at the non-permissible values of the rational function. We'll begin by finding the horizontal asymptote. Since the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, there is a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. Now we'll find the vertical asymptotes. Vertical asymptotes occur at the values of x that make the denominator become 0. Write the equation x squared minus 9 equals 0. Factor the difference of squares to get x plus 3 times x minus 3 equals 0. The roots of the equation are x equals negative 3 and 3. We have vertical asymptotes at x equals negative 3 and x equals positive 3. Now graph the rational function using technology. The asymptotes we predicted exist on the graph. When typing this into your graphing calculator, make sure the denominator is in brackets. Is it an error that the graph is crossing the horizontal asymptote? No. The horizontal asymptote is just a guide for the end behavior of the graph. It's fine if intermediate points exist on the asymptote. Contrast this with vertical asymptotes, where the graph is never allowed to cross the asymptote. In part b, we'll graph y equals x plus 2 over x squared plus 1. We'll begin by finding the horizontal asymptote. Since the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, there is a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. Now we'll find the vertical asymptotes. Vertical asymptotes occur at the values of x that make the denominator become 0. Write the equation x squared plus 1 equals 0. Subtract 1 from both sides of the equation to get x squared equals negative 1. Square root both sides to get x equals the square root of negative 1. The square root of negative 1 is undefined. There are no vertical asymptotes. Now graph the rational function using technology. The asymptotes we predicted exist on the graph. When typing this into your graphing calculator, make sure the numerator and denominator are in brackets. In part c, we'll graph y equals x plus 4 over x squared minus 16. We'll begin by finding the horizontal asymptote. Since the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, there is a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. Now we'll find the vertical asymptotes. Vertical asymptotes occur at the values of x that make the denominator become 0. Write the equation x squared minus 16 equals 0.
Add 16 to both sides of the equation. Square root both sides to get x equals the square root of 16. This gives us x equals plus minus 4. Based on this result, we should have vertical asymptotes at x equals negative 4 and x equals 4. Now graph the rational function using technology. Use brackets for the numerator and denominator. The graph unexpectedly crosses the vertical asymptote at x equals negative 4. What's going on here? Factor the denominator and simplify. This gives us 1 over x minus 4. There is information loss when we cancel x plus 4 from the numerator and denominator. As far as the graph is concerned, there is only one non-permissible value, positive 4. However, we know for a fact that x equals negative 4 is a non-permissible value. How do we indicate this on the graph? Use an open circle to indicate that when x equals negative 4, the graph does not exist. In words, we can say, the graph is discontinuous at x equals negative 4, or the graph has a hole at x equals negative 4. In part D, we'll graph y equals x squared minus x minus 2 over x cubed minus x squared minus 2x. We'll begin by finding the horizontal asymptote. Since the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, there is a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. Now we'll find the vertical asymptotes. Vertical asymptotes occur at the values of x that make the denominator become 0. Write the equation x cubed minus x squared minus 2x equals 0. Factor out the x. Now factor the trinomial. The roots of the equation are negative 1, 0, and 2 in ascending numerical order. There should be vertical asymptotes at x equals negative 1, x equals 0, and x equals 2. Now graph the rational function using technology. Use brackets for the numerator and denominator. On the graph, the asymptotes at x equals negative 1 and x equals 2 are ignored. To see why this happens, factor the rational expression and cancel identical factors. This gives us 1 over x. As far as the graph is concerned, only 0 is a non-permissible value. This is the result of information loss from cancelling identical factors. However, we know for a fact that negative 1 and 2 are non-permissible values. Draw holes in the graph where x equals negative 1 and x equals 2 to indicate this.